to my channel today is going to be another video of a furniture flip if you are new here my name is Liza I do a lot of DIY furniture flips so if you like those videos please make sure that you hit that subscribe button today is going to be a video of me reviewing this crib as you guys know I like to purchase furniture really cheap we flip them make them beautiful again fix them up Give them a new life so this crib here believe it or not was $15 and this is going to be a gift for a friend of mine as you guys may notice me look a bit different and girl seven months pregnant <laughs> so I wanted to do this for my friends. Um, she mentioned to me that she has yet purchased a crib and that she really wanted a mini crib. So I'm like, Ooh. So I'm like, let me do that for you. I know I can get it real cheap because cribs can be really expensive. And we ain't got time for that. We need to save our coins for some pampers. <laughs> but this crib is gray and this is pretty much the look that i usually go for for certain projects but the outcome of this will be a bit different we are going to go with some color so i'm really really excited to show you guys uh, what i do to it all right so i have my dewalt electric and I just pulled out so the lady was nice enough to pack everything for me um she put the she still had the instruction manual um and all the rules and every much every literally everything that came with the crib when she purchased it um so I'm going to go over this real quick and start setting this up I know my husband right now is probably going to be mad that I'm going to try and do this by myself. But I have a day off. I'm bored and I need some pain therapy. So I promise you guys I'm going to be safe. But I'm going to get this done. Okay? Cody, what do you think the 
dog is gonna come get me. <laughs> Can you go lay down? Can you go lay down? Or just watch me? So what I'm gonna do now is take some soapy water and just clean down this crib. What I also want to do is we have like these warning stickers on the side. I do want to kind of just soak that off and scrape it off and just clean and get all that, that gunky residue off before I paint. grit sandpaper just wrapped it around my sanding block and then just gave it a light sanding what I wanted to do was just smooth out any of the small scratches this crib was really in like really in good condition um there was no bumps no dings the only thing that we had was some paint that was stuck on the back of the crib and I believe that was just from them putting the crib against the, their wall and the paint from the wall got onto the crib I just took a 320 grit sand paper, lightly scuffed everything down, took a damp rag and then just wiped everything down clean with it. What I'm going to do now is just prep for the paint. So this is drying down from me wiping it with the damp cloth. So I'm just going to take some paper plates. I find like this is the easiest thing to do instead of just trying to get some plastic bags underneath it just take some paper plates put it directly underneath the legs and that's just going to protect my floor from getting paint on it the paint that i'm going to be using today is the bass the bass par ultra um, interior paint and primer um it is in the flat finish this was all they had the the time that i went to get the paint and the product is Green Guard, um, so it does have low chemical emissions, so it doesn't really have any um, large fumes, so it's not going to really bother me much, but because I'm pregnant, I'm still going to wear my mask, so don't worry guys, I'm being safe. <laughs> and then, I've been dying to use this brush, this is the zebra brush, the square brush. So it's really really cool because it does have a lot of bristles which helps get a smoother finish on your product and i just i just i just love the way that it feels like i just love it. <laughs> but it just feels so soft i used the triangular brush on another project that will be uploading after this one probably and i just love the way that it finished the product like i love the way that it paints it i love the way that it feels in your hand when you're painting and i just feel like it's just a really like high quality for the price
Talk about a transformation, huh? I really love the way that this crib came out and I really love that added detail that I added to the back. If you guys want to learn how I created that name detailing, please stay tuned for my next video. I'll be showing you guys how I accomplished that. Thank you guys so much for watching and please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when that video is live. See you guys on the next one. Bye.